Hi, I'm Kenny Joyer. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how and where to add effects in Reaper. Now this question comes up a lot, where someone asks me how and where to add effects in our projects. And it's obviously going to be different for each situation. Let's run through a bunch of them. I have a project in front of me here, and it sounds like this. I have a few drum tracks, kick, snare, and overheads, a bass track, an acoustic guitar, and a synth as a lead. So let's say we want to compress the whole mix. We would do that on the master track or the two track bus. So we go up here to the view menu and choose master track, which shows us the master track right here, which is where all our sounds are going to. So if we compress right here, we're going to compress the whole song, every track in our project. So let's add a compressor to the effects on the master track. Click it, and that opens up the effects browser. What we could also do is just right click this button. I'm going to go down here to my favorites and choose Reacomp. Of course, you could choose any compressor you want. So now this compressor will control the whole mix. Let's adjust the threshold and hear the difference. It just adds a bit of glue and punch to combine our tracks together. Now let's say we wanted to add an EQ to the entire mix. Right click the button, go to my favorites, and I'm going to choose the re-EQ. And again, you can choose any EQ you prefer. And now this EQ is going to control the whole mix. So if you want to add some top end over here, Maybe boost some low end. This is going to affect the entire mix. But now let's say we just want to affect the drums. Let's hide the master track. Let's say an effect on all of the drums. Now we could do this two different ways. We can create a new track below this one. Let's name it Drum Bus. And now we can route all our drum tracks to this track. Just select them all, hold down Shift, and grab the routing button and drop it on the drum bus. And now all these tracks are being routed to the drum bus. But to take them out of the master parent send individually, we can just hold down Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and that takes them out of the master parent send. So they're just sending to the drum bus. So now we can add effects just to the drum bus. Let's add a compressor. Now this is going to compress all the drums together as a group. We can do the same thing with EQ. Let's add an EQ to the drum bus. Now, this EQ is going to affect all the drums. Maybe add some top end to this. Some low end.
and it's all being added to all the drums as a group. Now we also could have done this as a drum folder, which will behave the same way. Put this track above the others, hit this button to turn this track into a folder just for the drums, and it'll behave the same way. With our compressor, and a EQ on all of it. Let's delete this folder. And we could also add effects directly to our tracks. Let's say we want to compress our snare. Right click, go to favorites, choose the compressor. Now we can compress just the snare track. Or we add a cue just to the snare. And it's just affecting the snare track. Now let's say we wanted to add some reverb to the drums but not necessarily as a group. We still want to send all the drum tracks to the reverb, but at different or varying amounts. So for that, we create an effects send and an effects return. Let's create a new track down here. We'll name it drum verb. Let's add a reverb to this track. I'm going to choose reverberate. Then we're going to change our dry sound to be totally off, because we want the dry sound to be coming from the drum tracks, with the wet sound or the reverb coming from the plugin to its own effects return track. Let's make the size a bit bigger, and now let's send reverb to each one of our drum tracks. We could start with the snare, grab the routing, and drag and drop it to this track, and adjust how much reverb is on the snare with this scent. And if we're happy with this amount, we could duplicate that send to our kick just by dragging it from here to here and readjusting it here, or we'll click it and readjust it here. And do the same thing with the overheads. Just drag it from here to here and readjust how much reverb is on that track. Let's hear it all back. We can do the same thing with delay instead of reverb. Let's delete this plugin. And instead, let's choose Rhea Delay. And again, we're going to turn off the dry sound because the dry sound is coming from the drum tracks. Let's change this to a 16th note. And let's hear that. Now we have a delay on each of the drum tracks at different or varying amounts, which we could adjust with their sends right here. Now you're probably thinking when using reverb or delay that you always have to use effects sends and returns, but you really don't. It only makes sense when you're sharing effects across multiple tracks. If you're just putting an effect on one track, we can just put it directly on that track. For example, with the synth, I want to put a reverb and a delay just on the synth. So instead of creating an effect send and return, I'm just going to put it 
right on this track. Go to the effects. We'll choose read delay. And because we're putting this right on this track, we're going to leave the dry sound on and adjust the wet sound based on how much effect we want. We'll change the timing to be one eighth note. Bring up the feedback for more repeats. And let's see how it sounds with some delay. Now let's add some reverb after it. We'll choose Reverberate again, but of course, we can use a different setting for this. Bring up the dry, bring down the wet, let's bring up the room size to make it bigger, bring down the dampening to be brighter, let's hear the reverb on the synth. So as long as we're not sharing this effect with other tracks, it makes more sense to put it directly on the track. Now we could also get even more specific for our effects. Instead of putting it directly on our track, we could have different effects for each item on our track. So let's start by moving the effects to this item, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and just drag the effects to here. And now we can see on the track, there's no effects because the effects are on the item right here. A delay and reverb. So it's still gonna sound exactly the same. But the difference is, we can now change the effect for different sections of our song. For example, right over here on these two notes, let's add a different delay setting. And we could do that by putting our cursor right here and splitting it. Do the same thing over here. So we have a separate item with separate effects for this item. Right click and choose the delay. Now, this delay. Is only affecting this item right here, not this one and not this one. So let's change this by making it louder. Let's make the delay a bit longer as a quarter note, bring up the feedback a bit more, and let's hear the difference, which should be a different effect on this section compared to this section. And then going back to this effect over here, although we could change that as well. Let's hear the difference. So not only can we put different effects on each track, we could put different effects on each item, giving us a lot of different ways of adding effects in our projects. So that's pretty much it. That's how and where to add effects in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.